I think this conference is very important. You know, democracy, democratic governance is one of the issues which is ho always hotly debated. And uh, you know this is the case in Rwanda. Um, so why is that the case? Because um, democratic governance is very essential for sustainable development. It creates the environment first for vision, visioning. It creates the environment um, for accountability of leaders. It creates the environment for participation of, um, of citizens. So if it functions very well, then it creates conditions for peaceful change of power and the responsiveness of leaders to the needs of the, of the people. So if all these issues are managed very well, then there will not be incentive for violent um, change. And uh, the development of, uh, of the countries can actually proceed at the desired pace. But you also know that, uh, that at any given time, there are new issues which arise. There is, first of all, the fundamental debate about um, which is a true democracy and which is not a true democracy. Uh, and uh, Rwanda very well knows this. I personally believe that um, the level of democracy in this country is very high. The leaders, first, they have a vision for the country. I think they are people-centered. And they subject themselves to accountability. You have a very robust local governance system security is assured and I think development is delivered but yet some people believe that this is not a democratic country so how do you reconcile that so what is democracy then so I think this meeting as you can see will be will be focusing on that important issue then you have the other issues that uh, relate to how do you do citizen participation how do you assure it is done at an optimal level what is the role of civil society and now we are focusing on youth and women how do you ensure that they are empowered to play their role so again that is an important part of this um, of this conference then you have the other issues about elections the importance of corporate um, you know governance and the media and so on and so forth so for me and for UN system I think the expected outcome we do expect a lot from this meeting uh, and uh, to cut this long story short, the meeting will aim to find answers to some of those difficult questions that I have raised and which are being raised here. As we sit here, I envisage that we shall come up with some of the solutions which will uh, encourage governments to, to, to propose uh, uh, sources of, 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 of jobs and then also uh, changing the mindset of the youth to see where this kind of uh, 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 employment is not necessarily the white formal, formal, formal white collar jobs but also the other community kind of jobs which definitely perhaps earlier on were part of the employment uh, 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 catchment areas for the youth but today many of the youth don't look at them they just look at uh, these institutions, the white collar jobs. So we need also a little bit of mind shift or mind, mind change among us the youth. So this is what I envisage to see out of this conference.